Hello everybody, my name is Quinn and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you a book haul. I'm not usually the type of person who buys a ton of books at one time. I usually try to finish a book before I buy a new one, but I had an Amazon gift card and I was like, why not? You know, I'm reading books at a lot faster rate than I used to and I was like, you know what? Treat yourself, Quinn. Buy yourself some new books. So that is exactly what I did. This month I bought a lot of contemporary books because I find that they're easier to get through and I've been reading a lot of fantasy lately so I just needed a little break and contemporaries were easy and quick to get through. The first book that I got was November 9th by Colleen Hoover. I've never read any Colleen Hoover but everyone worries about her so I'm really excited to you know delve in. I know everybody likes The Ugly Love and this is one of her more popular ones and I I think that it's the most recent one that came out, but I'm not entirely sure about this. This story follows Fallon, who is spending her last day in LA when she meets Ben, an aspiring novelist, and they, you know, spend their last day together, I'm assuming that romance ensues, and every year they meet on November 9th. But one day Fallon starts to suspect that Ben isn't telling her the whole truth, and she starts to suspect that maybe their whole relationship wasn't what she thought it was, and was just inspiration for this novel. The next book I got is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I was really excited to get this book because this is the only Rainbow Rowell book that I have not read. This story follows Lincoln. He is hired by a company to read everyone in the company's emails to make sure that they're not doing anything inappropriate. And he finds the job a little bit creepy, but you know, money is money, a job is a job. But he ends up reading the emails between Jennifer and Beth and he ends up falling in love with Beth just by her emails. But he can't really introduce himself, you know, I'm the creepy guy who reads your emails. So he has to deal with a love for a girl that he has that he's never met. It's written in a series of emails, so it's very interesting and I'm really excited to read this book because Rainbow Rowell pretty much never disappoints and her books are always really adorable and fun to read. The next book I picked up was Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. The story follows a girl with a very rare disease which basically means that she is allergic to pretty much everything. The only people that she can see are Carla, her nurse, and her mom. Everything, you know, has to be thoroughly sanitized and so she can't really have a lot of visitors until one day she sees a boy move in next door and then Ollie suddenly falls into her life and she learns, you know, what it's like to have someone around and I think it's just going to be a quick fun book filled with romance and I'm really excited to delve into it. The next book that I picked up is What We Saw by Erin Hartzler. Now this is a contemporary but it is a darker contemporary so there are trigger warnings for rape. This is based on true events of an actual rape case. This story follows Kate and one night she goes to a party where one of her classmates is raped by four of her other classmates. Charges are put against these four boys and the town erupts into controversy. No one really wants to look into the rape and Kate kind of feels like it's her responsibility to look into the rape and see what happens. This book largely has to deal with rape culture and how people react to rape, you know, whether you are the victim or a bystander. I think that rape culture is something that's definitely not talked about enough in YA. Not to say that it's swept under the rug, but it's just not really talked about. And I think that it's something really important that needs to be addressed. And I'm really interested to read this book and see how rape culture is portrayed. And you know, I said I bought a lot of contemporaries, but I couldn't stop myself from buying one fantasy book, and that is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. This is the bind-up of all the novellas of, you know, various Magnus stories across the series of his life. I just finished City of Heavenly Fire, and my heart is still like, I can't believe this series is over, and I think that this will help me get over my TMI withdrawals. I'm really excited to read it, because Magnus is definitely one of the, the most interesting characters, and I grew to like him a lot more in City of Heavenly Fire, not that I didn't before, but I really appreciated his character much more in City of Heavenly Fire, so I'm really excited to get into this. So those are all the books that I got today. I'm really excited to read all of them, but please comment down below on which one that you think I should read first, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.